This is Sylvia Takama. This is my book, Seconds, put out by Orca Book Publishers in 2013. Here we go. Chapter one. Jake hated every minute of it. The tension of those few seconds before the gun went off. The elbows that jabbed into his ribs as he jockeyed for a good position. The way the long grass pulled at him, branches grabbed at him, mud sucked at his shoes and sprayed up around him. The way his chest hurt and his head pounded. The way the muscles in his legs screamed at him to quit. The agony of the hills, the monotony of the long straight stretches, the pain of stubbing his toes or rolling an ankle on stones or stumps. The icy water of the swollen creek that was too wide to jump over cleanly, which seeped into his socks and pooled in the bottom of his shoes, making them squish with every step. He hated running, but he wasn't going to quit. He was going to beat Spencer Solomon today, no matter what. Spencer had won the first city race last time out, but only because Jake hadn't been ready. He'd been new to the course and the league and hadn't known what to expect. Not this time. His breathing grew more ragged as he pushed harder and spit clung to his chin. He was closing the gap, but Spencer still had five meters on him. Three, now two, and only 300 meters to finish. Time, two, go. Jake willed himself to maintain the brutal pace for just a little longer. He knew he could catch Spencer as they tackled the last hill. Stay with him, he thought. Just stay. But Spencer took off in a sprint. How did he do that? Jake gritted his teeth through the mud kicked up by Spencer's spikes. Run, run. He battled up the hill and pushed across the line. Sucking in great gulps of air, he ripped his racing number away from the pins, crumpled it into a ball, and threw it on the ground. He lifted his shirt and wiped the mud from his face. Second, again. Jake walked around for a bit until his breathing had slowed and he calmed down. Next time, he would get Spencer next time. He went over the course in his head. He could probably shave a few seconds off his time on the flat stretches, but what he really needed to do was find a way to get up the hills more quickly. He made his way back to the bike racks to grab the water bottle and the sweatshirt he'd left in a backpack slung over his bike handle. He almost tripped over some kid sitting on the curb, changing his shoes. Hey, Jake! Jake regained his balance, straightened up and turned. Simon? Simon Patterson. They used to be neighbors. He and Simon had done all kinds of stuff together, from Lego to video games. Simon had had a great treehouse and they'd spent hours there. They even tried spending the night in it once, but were scared out by an owl. They had built massive tinker toy robots in Simon's basement and had some great movie nights at Jake's. They'd throw new pizza ideas at Jake's dad and he'd cook up a masterpiece every time. Some were great, like the triple cheese goo experiment. Some were weird, like the one with the marshmallows. Then Jake had moved across town about two and a half years ago now. His dad had wanted a house with a workshop. Simon came over to the new place a couple of times. This was at the height of Jake's hockey craze. Jake watched all the games, knew all the teams, most of the players, and bought all the cards. He wanted to play, but the equipment was expensive and the practice schedule was too hard to fit in. Running was easier that way. Simon hadn't loved hockey the way Jake had. Although Jake still liked to watch the games on TV with his dad, he wasn't a hockey nut anymore. He probably hadn't seen Simon in over a year. He remembered him as kind of tubby, klutzy, always ready with a funny line, wore glasses and Spider-Man shirts. He loved Spider-Man. Simon, long time no see. What are you doing here? Simon looked up. Same curly blonde hair, glasses, red t-shirt. Running? Yeah, I didn't take you for a runner, no offense. Simon laughed. That's okay, I didn't either. 
I started because my mom made me. It's not a complicated sport, she said. I think she meant, you don't have to be coordinated to do this sport. He laughed again. But now, I like it. Yeah? What place did you get? 36th. 36th? Yikes! What, were there, what was there to like about being 36th? Thought Jake. Last week I was 40th, so 36th is okay. I felt good today. Well, there's your problem, thought Jake. If you're running hard, hard enough to be up front and not back at 36th, you don't feel good. You feel like garbage, like I do now. How'd you do? asked Simon. Jake scowled. Second. Second? That's amazing. You always were good at running. Not good enough, thought Jake, feeling the anger return. Yeah, well, it's only because the guy in first cut me off. Well, that stinks, said Simon. Look at me, said Jake. Thanks to Spencer Solomon, I'm covered in mud. The course today sure is muddy. Pigs could wallow in some parts. Spencer won? Are you sure he cut you off? Yep. I've never seen him do anything like that. How would you know, thought Jake. You probably couldn't see much of anything from back where you were. Well, that's how it looked to me, he said.